Hey, count down here. Count down. Three. Count, no, don't two, do the count. Don't do one. it again. Don't, and Josh. You're the worst. <laughs> What's up guys, Josh and Tommy, and uh, where are we? We're at the uh, Buffalo Comic Con. Buffalo we're at the Marriott, Con. we're ready to get our comics on. It's kind of, would you, would you say it's a mid-grade, small? I would say small, small. to mid-grade, yeah, but the yeah. parking lot looks pretty packed this time oh, actually. jamming. So, yeah. <laughs> as far as a Buffalo Comic Con goes. As far as goes. a Buffalo yeah. Comic Con goes. Yeah, this is probably the second biggest, yeah. next to Nickel City. Yep, definitely. Um, so. I don't know, good vendors though. Good solid vendors, Definitely. at least last time we were here. Oh yeah, man, heading right to that back corner where all the 50 yeah. centers are. Oh yeah. 50 cent boxes, <laughs> All right, we're heading in. So we just got, we just went into, uh, where, where were we? The Marriott, Buffalo Comic Con. The Marriott. Mm -hmm. I didn't, don't think the Marriott. Okay. So it was Buffalo Comic Con. Um, we are a little, a little disappointed. Not as many 50 cent, actually no 50 cent bins. Not a one. That was kind of the reason we came to this one because last time there was one vendor and he had thousands of comics for 50 cents. I mean, he had, what? I'd say at least 30 long boxes. At least, Maybe yeah. more than that. And they were packed, like you couldn't even dig them. They were so packed. So that's who we were looking for. And that guy was here, but everything was a dollar this time. So that's not cool. Yeah. But we did find some good stuff. We cleaned them out last time. Yeah, we, I think we definitely cleaned them out last time. Um, we'll do that one. Do that one live. How's that? Yeah, absolutely. All right, sweet. So let's do. Uh, we'll go through what we got. This is kind of like our halftime show, and then we'll come back. And the next time we come back, we're not going to have anything. So that's a, yeah. you know, that's usually we roll on the second one, especially that fifty cent guy, dude. I filled my backpack twice. I'm so I'm so last sad time. about it. I know, me too. <laughs> But I did get some stuff. From, no, actually, I didn't get anything from him. Now that I think about it, it was the guy next door that had the, yeah. the other dollars. So here's what we did. Um, we found this guy here, Ted Sakura, who created Tap Dance Killer and uh, Ampha was the other one. Um, but yeah, he signed that one for us and everything. Uh, so that was cool to run into him. Somebody in the group was, had been talking about this book. So when we saw him, I'm like, yeah, sure, we'll hang out. So we also interviewed him. So there's going to be a, a video of the interview on MCBCFA Play Network as well. Really cool guy. Um, I just flipped through this. It looks awesome. Oh, here's the other one. Apama. Sorry, not Ampha. Cool. I might pick Apama. that up when we go back in. I think I, think I might also. It looks really <laughs> it looks cool. cool yeah. It was a... Um, Ice cream man, what was his thing? It was like that was his... Scandinavian ice cream man. <laughs> yeah, was Ampha. This guy is like it, his stuff was so cool. And then Tap Dance Killer is a character that came out of App App Apama. Tap Dance Killer looks really Apama. cool too. Tap Dance Killer looks. He was like, sick. what, what do you compare to? Uh, it was Rocky a uh, picture show meets. I don't know, but he, he said he said she's <laughs> like a a vaudeville um, killer, right? Vaudeville assassin. I think that's what he what he said it. Um, so, so then we, so after that, we started digging whatever dollar bins we could find. Um, I found this is really cool. It's the, uh, zero hour crisis in time. It's a blank. It's like that shiny, but it's weird. Cause it's not like a normal blank where it's got an ad right behind it. So that's kind of strange, but check this out. So this one had the card intact Bonus. right there. There's the card, uh, two cards. What's sorry. Card this one's got two cards. Uh, one is like all the dudes, and then the other one is uh, all the dudes, and then it's got some like info on the inside or back of them. Um, but then on top of that, it's got this this history of DC. Oh, sorry, fold out here. Little timeline. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah, that was sweet. Um, they, this guy that I got this one from, and the next few. He was really cool. He he was talking about whatever. Like he just liked to talk about comics. He's like, I don't even really collect comics. I just have all these. And he had like at least seven or eight hundred um, in front of him. And he was like, I don't really have. You know, I just bring these places and whatever. So um, so he was he was good to talk to. But this was a funny funny part of the conversation with him was I found this uh, Princess Leia number one, which is I was looking for this one. These were all a buck, by the way. So that's a good deal. So I was looking for this one, and he goes, Oh, I got a whole series in there. Uh, I don't like to break them up, so let me know. You know, go find them, and and we'll make a deal. So, granted, these were this was a, a dollar. So I found there's five of them, and I said, yeah, there's five. He goes, oh yeah, cool. All right, so like five bucks. How's that sound? And I was like, 
What? So That's it's so a dollar each. Then? So a dollar each. So, <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so I got one. It's a good deal. Two. Get the wop on the back. Three. But it's, yeah, all of them have the uh, toy sets on the back too that That's they were selling cool. at the time. Four. I love that one. It's a beautiful cover. Let's get started again. And then five with Womp on the back. <laughs> okay. So that was, that was those. And then um, I started collecting these Tangent comics. Um, found this one. Uh, and they're, they're pretty cool. They're, they're kind of like an Elseworld, Elseworlds sort of style. So that was that one that I needed with the Atom. And then this one is the Secret Six. And it's signed. Um, let me try to figure out who that is. Where's the people here? Uh, Chuck Dixon signed that one in 99 <laughs> and it's got this stamp on it is which is cool they all they, they like all have the all the tangent ones have like the stamps are used as decoration in that which is kind of cool it, it's like they took a lot more effort into the art mm -hmm. making it really presentable um secret origins annual with doom patrol now this is awesome. Um, rare finds. This this thing's beat up. The other one's not as bad, but 12 centers, checkerboard tops for a buck. See that one's super jacked. But I love this because um, this is the Royal Flush Gang on the front here, and they are a. Um, there's a story with Flash with the Royal Flush Gang that I really enjoy, um, and it's one of the Firestorm tie-ins. So that was a cool find. Them on the front. Um, and then Superman's pale, Jimmy Olsen. Who doesn't love Jimmy Olsen? And this is cool. It's Batman and Superman. It's uh, the Batman Superman of Earth X. Is the combination of them with all the toy soldiers. That was fun. And then every single time I see this for a buck or less. I mean, come on. It's the Cheap Keys Checklist, baby. That's a $10 book right there. Cheap Keys Checklist. If you guys don't know about it, check it out. It's in the Facebook group, Make Comic Book Collecting Fun Again. And this is one of them, so that is always a find. I use those for giveaways. I give them away, and I'll, I'll send them the Cheap Keys checklist printed out with a little, little check mark on there uh, for that one. So those are my finds. And then I also grabbed a uh, one for my Combag Tap Dance Killer button up there on the top. So that's cool. So um, let's let's throw it over to Tommy, see what he's got. Tommy did good, too. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I also got the Tap Dance Killer. Had to grab that. We'll so, do a review. We'll, we'll do have a review, to do a review. Let's, let's do a little yeah. review and then we'll talk about yeah. it. Yeah. You want to do that right now? You want me to read it right now? Read it right now. Well, I'm so we're really just going to take reader. a break right now, but I mean, we'll keep the camera we'll rolling. We'll keep it rolling. You guys watch Tommy me read and read struggle with words. Yep, here we go. Maybe I'll read it aloud. I've already had enough. Let's move on. All right, so. <laughs> Drop it. You. All right, so let's see here. G.I. Joe. You have an order or versus anything? The no order whatsoever. I think I have one at home. I'm not sure. That yeah, because cool yeah, because they're one. they're blowing up Bumblebee. That's I like one. that how you're looking through or looking at the screen. Right, right, right. That's right. pretty cool. It's a little four, little four shot yeah. series. That's two. Well, I got the flat side Three. of the car, and I couldn't find four. Ooh, it's but... got the Gumby ad on the back. Yeah, that's fun. Love Gumby. Yeah. All right, and then let's see, some random Joes to fill in the old. Nice. Didn't make out. A little disappointed. Well, they're buck a piece. Nothing you under know, like number not 50. Crazy. I know. Hey. I was amazed I found that signed one for a dollar. <laughs> that, oh, I like this one a lot. Number 64. That's really cool. With Cobra Commander. Nice. And the Baroness and Serpentor. How awesome is that? That is really ah. cool. I like the close up stuff from this, this era of I comics because it was just a real basic look, but the way that they colored it, it was almost like a two tone. They would just use like one color as a shadow and yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's neat. Like this like too. That. Like how the gun's red. Real simple. I like that. Yeah. I like that look. It was impactful. It was. What do you think? What was so, your favorite of the favorite find there? I don't know, man. I there's a couple things I want to look at again. There's a couple toy toy vendors I want to check mm -hmm. out for some loose figures and I want to check out if they have some new releases. I want to grab that Hulk or uh the heck was it? Yeah, it was the the Hulk re redo or reprint yeah, yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah. of that. Yeah. Um but I don't know what was your favorite spot so far. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one guy. He was real chatty the, catty. The chatty guy, yeah. But he was a lot of fun. Like he had a lot of stories and some cool stuff to talk about. And like he was really big into like giving giving books to the kids and stuff. Like this kid walked by, he goes, Hey, 
here, here, grab a couple of books. And he just handed them like whatever. Like he was just, awesome. he was doing it for the fun of it and to have the experience of being at a con. Mm -hmm. And like we said, this is a decent sized con. So it was, it's fun to just run into those kind of guys. So he was fun to talk to. Um, probably enjoyed that the best. But there's, there's one guy that we found on the walk out for our little halftime break. And he had some more dollar bins, so yeah. I definitely want to go back and, that up. and dig those. That's actually, when we were walking by, I just, that thing popped out and I grabbed it and then we're like, we'll come back. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I want to go, I want to go see him again. So for sure. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Catch you on the flippity flop.